Good morning guys, it's time for your Friday update from the farm. Today is Friday, June the 30th. It is the last day in June. Tomorrow is the first day of July. It's a holiday weekend, so hopefully you've got a four day weekend, or at least you have some time off and you can celebrate with your friends and family. Um, the 4th of July is on Tuesday, just in case you didn't know. If you uh, don't have plans, I want to remind you that Valley Mills does have a 4th of July celebration. They have a, three different things going on. The first is the parade, and that's at 9 a.m., and it runs down Highway 6 right through Valley Mills. And so they shut down the highway, so you might want to get there a little early. It does get kind of crowded. People park their cars or set up their chairs and stuff pretty early. If you don't have anyone to sit with, you can come sit with us. We always sit in front of the Methodist Church um, because it's shaded and they have stairs, so we don't have to bring chairs. So you can meet us there. Again, that starts at 9 o'clock. Um, af right after the parade, there is a celebration in the park. So everybody walks over to the park in Valley Mills, and they have food for sale, ice cream for sale. They have different vendors that set up selling uh, whatever. Uh, last year, they had like a bounce castle and music and all sorts of different stuff. So it's a good time just to come out and hang out with other people in the community. And um, yeah, so that'd be fun. And then the last thing Valley Mills does is they do a fireworks show in the evening that has... I'm just going off what usually happens. So I haven't really found information on what's actually going to happen, but I'm assuming it's the same is that the fireworks show is going to be at the baseball fields that are just outside of town, just north of Valley Mills on Highway 6. And they start those whenever it gets dark. So I'm not sure what time it's getting dark, but I know it's after 8. So 8.30, 9 o'clock maybe is when they'll start the fireworks. So those are three things. If you don't have plans this weekend, feel free to come check those out in Valley Mills. Again, we're going to be at the parade for sure at 9 o'clock in the morning. And we'll be sitting in front of the Methodist Church if you would like to join us. Um, okay, farmer's markets. Tomorrow at the Clifton Market, I brought notes. Okay, I got an email about the Clifton Farmer's Market. They're going to have other things there, but there's one family in particular that's going to bring onions, potatoes, kale, tomatoes, beans, carrots, beets. And I imagine there will be some other things there. Lace will be there with the chicken, and uh, yeah, so if you're in Clifton, or you're near Clifton, and you want to come check out the market in Clifton tomorrow, that would be tomorrow will be a good day to come check it out. There should be uh, quite a bit of stuff there. The market is located on 5th Street. If, you go, if you're in Clifton, you go north on 5th Street, past the Cliff Tax, over the railroad tracks, and it's across the street from the feed store, right there before you leave town. Um, so, and that market's from 9 to 11 a.m. So go check that out. The second market we'll be at is the Bosky Farmer's Market in Meridian. And since tomorrow is July 1st, it's the first Saturday of the month, which means it is also Artisan Day at the market. So in addition to the produce and meat vendors, there are also going to be some um, local artisans selling whatever it is they make. So you may want to come check that out. That market is from 9 o'clock until 1 p.m. And that one is located as you drive into Meridian uh, near the Bosky Bottoms Park where they have the big barbecue kickoff. Um, you'll see it. It's right there kind of off the road. So I know it's getting warm outside. Uh, I checked the weather tomorrow. It shouldn't hit 90 degrees though until uh, the markets end. So it, it will be fairly cool. Again, if you come out earlier, it's typically pretty nice, especially uh, both the markets are under like trees and stuff, so it's shaded. So it's fairly nice weather to come out. It won't be too hot. So come check everybody out. We will have our chicken there. Remember, it is 4th of July weekend, so if you're planning for your barbecue, we do sell things like we have bone-in thighs and drumsticks, which are really good for barbecuing or grilling, depending on your definition of barbecuing. So if you're grilling, uh, we have... Uh, drumsticks and bone and thighs. We also have chicken breasts and we also have whole chickens if you want to smoke whole chicken. So uh, be sure to pick those up. As always, if you would like to reserve something to pick up at either the Clifton Market or the Meridian Market, feel free to send us an email or send us a message on Facebook. My email is john at chatfarm.net and we can uh, bag up your order for you so it's just ready to go. You don't have to worry about 
whether or not we'll be out of something. Um, so yeah, take advantage of that if you would like. Uh, I don't think I have any more announcements for today. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I hope you have an enjoyable and safe weekend, and we will see you later.